We're hearing from a parent whose child was inside a daycare the moment a car came crashing through. This all happened yesterday at the intersection of Jeff Road and McKee Road. First responders confirmed six people were injured in the crash. Luckily, there were no injuries inside of that daycare itself. Way 31 reporter Julia Miller now joining us live with the details. Julia. Well, this is what the daycare looks like tonight. It's been all boarded up. Crews were out here all afternoon cleaning up the debris from yesterday. I spoke to one mother this afternoon whose daughter attends daycare here. She says she's thankful this wall was the worst of it and that nobody inside was injured. Mother Brittany Pitts couldn't believe the call she got yesterday from her three-year-old daughter's daycare. A car had crashed through it. The shock was probably the initial emotion that you get. Just you're not really expecting that call when you're, you know, getting the daycare call. You think, oh, they're sick. No, it was the actual, you know, a real accident. Pitt says although she wasn't far away, it was a drive filled with fear to get her daughter. Try to get here as quickly as possible because the fear is driving you. So the, until you see your child, you don't really release. Owner Barbara Jones tells me they notified all parents right away. She says the daycare will remain closed until the building is back up to code. It's unclear how long that will be. What does this mean for child care now, though? Jones says they gave parents alternate daycare options for the time being. With a lot of parents, you don't have a secondary line of babysitting lined up when you have them in daycare. So. Um, that was definitely a thought. Pitt says she's grateful for the quick action the daycare took. It just really makes you count your blessings and appreciate what what was spared because it could have, like I said, it could have been a tragedy, but in my mind it's a testimony that nobody was injured and I'm grateful. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency tells me this is an ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, the owner of the daycare here says she's pushing for a stoplight at the intersection for more safety in the future. Reporting live in Harvest with coverage you can count on, Julia Miller, Way 31 News.